I'm in Australia, so this thing's only just arrived. I've been watching videos pop up, but I hadn't been watching the videos because I always like a fresh perspective on these things. This is the first time I've met the uh, UTV-18 and I've got to tell you, I really like it. Let's unbox it. Let's unbox it. There, there's the box. And we'll take a look at it. And then we're going to get it on the rocks with my Mini, which I can't wait to try. Let's do that. Good stuff does come to those who wait. And in this case, it is the Capra's time to shine on RCTNT. By now, most of you guys have already seen this thing. So I thought today, instead of doing a full review and telling you all about it, I thought we might do something a bit different. If you are new to the Capra though, this is the 118 scale. It's got a beautiful similar design. We'll get it out in a sec. Manual, tools, uh, more narrow hexes by the look of it. AA batteries, SLT2 by the look of it. SLT2. I know very little about this except it's the baby Capra. And I can see the curry axles already. There's a 2S charger. Let's cut this thing out. Well, there it is. That'll be a functional LED bar. I see what looks like little rock lights, headlight kind of things. Nothing in the rear. The tires are pretty cool. They're Nitto Trail Grappler MTs. I'm not a fan of these, the 1.9s, but they are a slightly different tread here. There's the thinnest of foams in there. You can feel it, but <laughs> there's a lot of give and, and uh, stretch in them. The dash has stickers in it. I really like this. It, it looks like a faithful reproduction without the dig. Uh, of, of the of the 110 scale. I see a 380 motor in there. It's brushed uh, 37 turn from memory. I glanced at the box before we talked. Yeah, there you go, 37 turn. Full size servo. What a brilliant idea. S651, how's the hood open? I see a battery in there. Oh, okay, it's just on a catch. Oh, I like that, tool free. The bigger ones should do that, that's a great idea. It's a hard pack, but it's just a little uh, 2S, 650 milliamp hour LiPo. Metal lowers, plastic uppers, plastic shafts, metal universals, portals, CVDs in the portals, not unis, but you still get a reasonable steering angle. Not as good as you can achieve with unis. That's pretty much it. She's light, pretty good center of gravity, even with that big battery. What I want to do is just basically stick batteries in this controller and get this thing on the rocks now. And we're going to compare it to my Mini, which I'll just get. Okay, so here's my 1.9 Mini. This is a competition rig. It's an older design now, but it's still more than capable of holding its own. And in its current configuration, it's coming to nationals with me at the end of March. And as long as I drive well, I'll do well. This is a lovely rig. The newer stuff might outdrive it, but there's a, well, it comes down to driver skill as well. And I'm strongest in Mini, let's put it that way. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that goes. With that in mind, the 1.9 Mini class was spawned from the uh, lossy uh, MRC 118 scale from over a decade ago now. And that's that's the original rear diff, rear axle from it. Oh, even, even the front actually, although it's got larger lockouts and stuff. That's the original axle. So that's what it's based on. And you can see how much bigger the, uh, the Capra axles are. They're gonna be a lot stronger. These have been shimmed to kingdom come. Everything's tight as. They do break still, and I've got a bucket of these axles still because you go through them even when you shim them. I mean, they're not bad. There's a little bit of movement in the rear and none in the front. So, uh, I do see some problems on mine though. Hmm. So maybe this was a Friday afternoon or a Monday morning build, but my steering server has been done up too tightly. Don't know if you can see that, but the arm is already cracked. It's been over tightened, I suppose. It, it's already broken. And I also see I'm, I've got one screw done up out of four and two missing on this radio box. They've started doing that up and it looks like the tool head has slipped and broken off and they just couldn't be bothered finishing it and never came back to it. So that sucks. I'll need to find some more screws from somewhere. It's an empty box I can see in that fuel cell, so not to worry. I don't fully trust that everything else is done properly given those two things. But I'm already on location, so we're just going to hope for the best in film. Oil-filled shocks, they're lovely and slow as well. Lovely soft springs. That's enough talk. 
let's get this thing on the rocks. We're gonna do a one-to-one -one comparison. You'll see how the Mini goes. They really are very similar in size. And I'm rather hoping that the uh, UTB-18 here helps rejuvenate the Mini class because looking at the specs of this, this is the first time in my hand, this is two millimeters too long, that's it. Otherwise, it fits in the Mini class just fine. So we've got to shorten it, shorten its length very slightly and uh, we'll have a legal, a legal build. So we'll shorten the front, I suppose. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get this thing on the rocks. Perfect run, two minutes, 16 seconds, no reverses. Bonus. Not bad. I think we're just gonna hope, let's drive. So the Mini did two minutes, 16 on this course and it was a perfect run. Let's see, I've never driven this before so that's a handicap, let's do it. Time. Ooh, so it's geared pretty high and it's steering angle ain't good. Remember, I'm comparing this to a national level Mini, so it's, uh, it's absolutely fine for what it is, but it's also geared pretty high. I can feel it's geared high. This thing wants a brushless system. Oh, I should also let you guys know that I'm looking at this from a competition perspective, not from a everyday crawler perspective. Uh, that's a gnarly angle. We don't want to touch that lower gate and it's going to want to fall. We might take, uh, oh, we're nearly falling. Take a reverse. Also remember there's no overdrive in this. So one reverse. And we could really use a tighter steering angle. I think we'll get out of this one okay now. There we go. It is very sure in the hand. It just, it just feels a bit fast to my liking. But it's going where I want it to go. I can see some universal steering axles in its future. I'd really like to get a better angle on this. And I can see lower gearing and a faster brushless motor. 2S is probably fine. 3S could be good. 
I'm assuming this thing's waterproof, but we're gonna keep it out of the drink if we can. So we've had one reverse. But we're also comparing my fully loaded Mini to this box stock machine that isn't just a crawler, it's also something of a rock racer for some people, so. I mean, it's doing pretty well, honestly. I'm not looking for it to be the same as my Mini before you uh, let me know that it's not fair. I know it's not fair. It's just for interest. And it's especially relevant because a competition nut like me wants to see it's one reverse, we're gonna use it properly. A competition nut like me wants to see the potential of this thing. There we go. Should we try the bonus? It's pretty gnarly as well. Now uh, the potential of this thing for competition conversion. And I think the potential is absolutely there. It really wants better steering though. I think we can rectify that. Um, well, let's take advantage of this high gearing and we're gonna we accelerate down here. Oh, we may not need to, let's see. Ah, uh, yuck. That's a shame. There's a rollover. So we've had a reverse and a rollover. Hopefully that's all we have. We need to get through gate 10 and I'm just gonna avoid needing to reverse again because we've got time, I think. Yep, we have. There we go. I love it's a full-size servo, that's really cool. Oh, yuck. Um, we're going to need another reverse here. I think we're just going to turn around and drive it instead. We've got time. Of course, I forgot how bad the steering is. Yeah, should be reverse. Oh well, we still got time and we're still good. Come on, little Capra. That was just about its full speed just now. There we go. And across the line, so we had a reverse and a, and a rollover in four minutes and two seconds. And to be quite clear about it, this thing being box stock, four minutes and two seconds with a rollover that now I'm getting used to it, I think I could avoid. It's still not bad, is it? Let's just set up another course now and we'll see what we can see. Okay, time's on for the mini. I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time because it's little battery's flat. Could we be smart about it or not? I really 
they shouldn't try this. They should do it the way the course is designed, Craig. That cost me that reverse bummer just for being smart. Oh well, cross the line. Two minutes forty. So it could have been a perfect score, but we're a bit a bit silly here. Oh uh, well, let's try the UTB18. Right, Capra time. Time on. Oh, it's fast. After driving the mini, it's fast. Reverse. a little bit there. Come on. Do we try for the bonus? Yes, of course. We've had a reverse so far. And we're risking rolling here to avoid that reverse and I think we'll get away with it. Famous last words of course. Reverse doesn't count when you're upside down. There we go. This reverse will count. Uh, so this is our second reverse. Come on. Third reverse. There comes a point where the bonus isn't worth it. We're going to roll over. This is how you do the roll over. It's how I should have done my Galand. So we've had three reverses, or well, four reverses, I think, and a roll over. Let's try again for this bonus. Oh my goodness, Craig. Message received. Oh, okay, look, just because it landed there, I will. But I was just about to say no bonus. It may not be able to anyway. Oh, there we go. So it cost us four reverses and a roll over. So we basically, and there's a reverse we needed. So, we're back at the point where we were. Oh. <sighs> okay, that cost us five basically and lots of time. Doesn't matter, keep going, time is at 2.33. I gave it a good go, but I kind of stuffed it up. We've got time to finish this comfortably, but there are going to be more reverses yet. Uh, I must admit I've lost count. I think it's five reverses. About to be six. Reverse. Seven reverses. Nice. We'll come wide for gate ten. Eight reverses. And fine. This is what I should have done with the mini. So, cross the line in. Uh, three minutes 31. We had eight reverses, a rollover, two rollovers, and the bonus. <laughs> Although, box stock. It's not bad, is it? She's not a bad looking car. Now to be fair to the UTB18, this is box stock and my Mini here is probably had about 800 bucks spent on it when it was newer. It's Australian dollars. So you could buy two Capras for this one Mini and so you should expect that this optimized uh, national ranking, because I drove this to second place at nationals a few years ago, uh, you should expect that my Mini should demolish the Capra. Fair enough. But what an interesting comparison. And I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see the Capra 
hopefully reignite the mini scene because these lovely big axles, they're so much better, I think, than the old MRC axles. I really am excited to see how that happens. So we're gonna do a lot more with this Capra. I'm gonna turn this into a mini competition truck, not for this year's nationals, but we're gonna do it sometime. And I'd like to see just how far we can take it. Throw me a like if you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you again real soon right here on RCTNT.